This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital, and today we're talking about the Elgoo Mars 2. I'm gonna talk about why I decided to pick one up, why I absolutely love it, and why I think it is a great resin printer for model railroaders. Plus, we're gonna be taking a look at some kits from Budget Model Railways. Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing something a little different. I want to talk about a new 3D printer that I just picked up and the reason that I want to talk about it is I don't see a lot of people online talking about this. Now no, this review was not sponsored. I bought this with my own money and so far it has been an absolutely fantastic resin 3D printer. So let's go ahead and start talking about the Elgoo Mars 2. At first glance, the Mars 2 looks a lot like the original Mars. It does have a slightly larger build volume, but the Mars 2's party trick is its screen. Like most resin 3D printers that are being released right now, it has a monochrome screen. Let's take a look at why that is special. LCD screens are made up of pixels. Standard resin printers have RGB LCDs, which means the pixels have red, green, and blue sections. When UV light hits the pixel, only the blue third allows light through. A monochrome LCD pixel is different because it does not have the RGB sections. UV light shines through the entire pixel. This means more UV light hitting your resin and faster curing times, which leads to faster prints. The standard Elgoo Mars prints at about 6 to 8 seconds per layer. In my testing, I have gotten stable prints at 1.5 second cure times with standard resin. All right, so that is the Elgu Mars 2. So far, it's been an absolutely fantastic printer, but I really wanted to test it out. Now, you guys know that I typically like to design one building a month on the channel and just kind of give you a quick run through of how I do that. So what I wanted to do was rather than going through the run through is design a building and test it out by printing it on the Elgu Mars 2. So I decided to go ahead and dive into my planned municipal buildings and design a town hall type building that I could print on the Elgu Mars 2. So let's check out the design. For this design, I went with something I couldn't print on my previous printers with a wide building that would max out the Mars 2's build plate. I also added brick detail as well as shingles on the roof. I really wanted to give this printer a good test. I sliced the model and loaded it in. I'm using Elgoo's proprietary resin for this test print. The printer will print layers at a 2.5 second exposure time with 40 second exposures for the first five layers. I then let the printer get to work. Here you can see just how fast the exposures are. Once completed, I took it through my standard finishing process. The print took a little over six hours to complete. Compare that to a little over 10 hours with a standard Elgoo Mars. And you can see the results. Yes, this is an awesome printer, but it's not the only monochrome printer out there and not even the only one at this price point. So why did I pick it? Well, the answer is simple. Unlike a lot of people who do 3D printing, we are doing 3D printing as model railroaders as part of a larger hobby. And what that means is that we don't necessarily want to spend all our money on the printers themselves, and we want to save it where we can. Now, resin printers do need regular maintenance, and that includes replacing the LCD screen, which will eventually burn out. Now, one great thing about monochrome screens is they last a lot 
longer than your standard LCD screens on a 3D printer, but they are more expensive. But when I went and looked for the Elgu Mars 2 replacement screen, A, I was able to find it fairly easily, and it was at a lower price than a lot of its competitors. And that's why I think that this printer is a great one for model railroaders, because the maintenance is going to cost less in the long run. So that is the Elgu Mars 2. It did an absolutely fantastic job printing that, and it printed a lot faster than the standard LCD resin printers would do it. So I'm very, very happy with that. So let's go ahead and turn to another 3D printed product. We're going to check out some kits that were sent to me from Budget Model Railways over in the UK. Let's check these out. Budget Model Railways is a father and son website business out of the UK, and they do some amazing things. They also have a really great YouTube channel that I'll link in the description below. And they sent me some Engage stuff to check out. They sent me this Engage station kit for 10 pounds. They sent me this Engage Bobo rail bus body for 10 pounds that clips onto the Kato 1105 chassis. They sent me these little Engage AC unit details for two pounds 50. These are so awesome that a matter of fact, I went ahead and put some metallic spray paint on them and put them on my buildings on MRR1. I like them that much. And they sent me also an in-scale plate bridge, which can go on the side of your track that retails for two pounds. And they sent me some engage platforms, which retail for five pounds. And I really loved all of these products and I'm probably going to be integrating them in one form or another into future layouts. The only one that was really truly a kit that they sent me was the engage station. And this was extremely easy to put together. I even just decided to spritz it with a little bit of spray paint. I used some super glue to put it together, but you can use regular models glue as well so these products are absolutely amazing especially if you are on a budget so thank you budget model railways for sending me these to take a look at so that is budget model railways a lot of fantastic kits at a very very reasonable price if you're over in europe or you're looking to model some european scenes definitely check them out they're linked in the description below thank you guys so much for sending those over i also want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons you can check them out right here. You can become a patron for as little as $1 a month. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, and happy railroading. The mess of this thing is like literally right here. Like the mess of my desk, like this kind of looks neat. And then when you get to here, like literally right here, it's just if you're looking to do some European models or you are over in the European area, the European area. Yeah, that, that's what that continent's called. <laughs> Button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates like this video. And I should have kept going. <laughs>